everyone and welcome to the Colleen Cape Dress Sew Along. Today I am going to be showing you how to attach the elastic along the back open edge of the cape dress. So if we are looking, this is the back, this is our cape, this cape flips up, and underneath we have our center back seam here with our top back opening. And we are going to use elastic to finish off this edge and make sure that top underneath the dress stays nice and snug. Now I went ahead and surged this. Typically, if I was making this for myself, I would actually attach the elastic and serge the raw edge at the same time. However, I wanted to show you um, how to attach it using a simple zigzag stitch for those who do not have a serger. If you did have a serger, if you are using a serger, <clears throat> you would simply imagine that this edge is not yet surged, that it's raw and that we are doing this first attaching with a serger. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I have cut this elastic according to the measurements on the pattern. You can find those um, right after the size chart. There's a different length of elastic for each size. I'm gonna fold this elastic piece in half and I am going to mark the halfway point. And this is so that I know to line up this halfway point with my center back seam. So I have a zigzag stitch on my machine and we are going to first be working with the underside of the fabric, the wrong side. And I am going to, starting where our dart um, this dart leg that we sewed earlier. The dart leg ends here at this spot. And I am going to line up my elastic, the edge of my elastic about a half of an inch in from where that dart leg ends. And that's where I'm gonna start stitching. And again, I'm using a zigzag stitch. it a couple times just to hold it in place and now I'm going to stretch this elastic till it lines up with the center back seam there and we're just and I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold these two in place you could also pin it and pull so that this is nice and taut here we don't want to stitch while um, it's sagging because the elastic is slightly smaller than this back opening. Um, and we want it to fit nice and snug. So I'm gonna pull the elastic while I'm stitching and I'm just gonna attach this. I'm gonna attach this using a zigzag stitch. Now, if you are not using a serger, if you don't have a serger and this edge of your fabric is going to be raw, I would make sure that every time your needle goes down on the right hand side, you are lining up right with the edge of the elastic and the fabric. Then you're kind of like encasing the raw edge at the same time as you are stitching on the elastic. And we just want the edge of the elastic to line up with the raw edge of the fabric. Again, make sure that that halfway point of the elastic lines up with the center back of your top. Once you get to the center back, 
then rearrange. And now I want to pull the elastic so that the end of the elastic ends about halfway into, so my serging goes down past where my dart leg ends. So I don't wanna go by where my serging is. I wanna go by this dot here or my green stitching here. And I want my elastic to end about half of an inch inside of that green stitching. And I'm just gonna pull and stitch. Now, as I'm pulling, I don't wanna pull any more than it takes to simply make the elastic flat against the top. I'm not stretching the top. I just want the top to lay flat against the elastic. And by top, I mean fabric in that. Okay, I'm coming up on my stitching. Again, making sure that the end of that elastic ends about a half of an inch in from the end of the stitching here. Okay, that is our first pass. So we have our elastic is attached the zigzag stitching is holding it in place and it goes from about half inch in to one dart leg to half inch in of the next dart leg. Now we're gonna do the same stitch. We're gonna go up here, starting from the same place, but we're gonna fold this down. So now our dart leg here is folded in. You can't see the elastic. We do see our little cutout here. If you watched my previous video about sewing the darts, um, you will remember that I talked about this cutout. And the start of the cape, which is this right here, should start right where this dart leg ends. So again, we want this, this is our dart here. We want the dart folded down. And I'm gonna start stitching on the dart leg. So a little bit in from where this uh, fold of the fabric is. So, and we're just using a zigzag stitch. And now our elastic is attached, but we so we don't need a stretch to line up the elastic, but we do want to we don't want to sew it down all wrinkly like this. So we do want to stretch a little bit just so it is lays flat. And this time as we're stitching, we want the left when our zigzag stitch goes in on the left side, we want it to just be lined up with the edge of this fold here. And even if you don't have a serger, this is going to encase that raw edge so it will not fray and it will look very nice. Again, I'm just slightly stretching just enough to get it to lay flat. And again, as I approach my dart here, I'm gonna stitch past that opening onto my dart leg. Give it a back stitch. So I just came in about a half an inch in. Now everyone can see how bad my machine is at zigzag. <laughs> so 
So what we should have here is, you should not be able to see any elastic sticking out here. The elastic is folded in. You should feel some resistance when you give it a little tug. That's what's gonna hold it nice and snug to your body. Keep that back opening from sagging down past the cape opening. And on the opposite side, you are going to see these zigzag stitches. And that is how we attach the elastic to the back opening of the Colleen Cape dress. You can also use this tutorial if you are attaching quarter inch elastic to seal off any knit garment edge. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to look out for the other tutorials in this sew along and on my channel. Happy sewing, bye.